There's another dude <laughs> that's still from Nebraska. It's from our, the borough of business. The Oracle of Omaha. The Oracle of Omaha. Yes. So I'm wondering, as you're ascending in your career of boxing, is the Oracle watching you? And of course. He is watching. He, been, he, he likes been, boxing. I know. I was saying, what, few, when's the first time he reaches out? Well, he never re reached out. You know, he came to a couple of my fights in Omaha. He came backstage, you know, uh, showed support and love. Uh, Warren always been cool. Like I sit down, meet with him, we will chop it up for hours. You know, this is st stuff that people pay million dollars to do. <laughs> That's a fact. That's and we a big fact. And we sitting here just chopping it up about whatever, you know. And I'm just like, man, this dude, like one of the most popular dudes on the planet, damn near. And he's sitting here chopping it up with me, and we take a picture. And he like, man, put me in a headlock. <laughs> I'm like, huh? I'm like, man. First request. He like, put me in a headlock. I'm like, put me, come here. You know what I mean? Just joking around, you know. And I was just like, man, this dude, real life, chill. And I didn't say, got the, got the opportunity to sit down with him and, you know, have conversation with him multiple times. And I, I think that was real dope. What's anything that you that you might have learned, picked up from him? Oh, man, just a little certain investments, but it was stuff that I was already invested in. You know, I, w I was just like, you know, um, what what do he think about this? What do he think about that? And um, he gave me his opinion. And his main thing was, you know, get you a team that you can count on. His main thing was uh, having a strong team. And he stressed... Uh, that he wouldn't be able to accomplish all the things that he done accomplish if it wasn't for his team, you know? And I was like, how can I be a part of your team? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on the Birch Heights, right. please. That's we'll be fact. on the team, you know That's what I mean? But, Me, yeah. you and Charlie, we can get this thing going. Yeah, it was cool though. So I saw a post where you talked about how you spent your first million dollars. Right. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we did, we did the show. Uh, how I spent my first million dollars and it was just that, you know, my first million, I most of it I spent on my family and, you know, uh, trying to make sure everybody is is set, cool, you know. Um, I was, I was the type of person that I really didn't care too much about shit for me. I cared about my family, how my, my sisters, my mom, my nieces, my nephew, my kids, how they was. So I used to always just save my money and they were like, man, you can't take it with you. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I just started spending, spending, spending. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, all right, now I'm like, I need to fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then it got to, to a point where, you know, I got more, you know, reasonable with my spins and stuff like that. And, you know, sisters' houses, sisters' cars, cousins' cars, nephew cars, you know, remodeled my mom whole house twice, you know, bought her car, bought my grandma car, then I bought me a house, you know, me a vehicle and stuff like that. So I took care of everybody. Yeah, one of the other things that was impressive, and again, it speaks to the character, is that you started to be in the academy. Mm -hmm. um, for you know people to uh, creating a gym for the youth uh, of your hometown you said that you're independent now from a standpoint of promoting boxing are you looking to one create your own team uh, of of fighters and is that was that the vision when you created bnb no that definitely wasn't the vision but we definitely got our own team it's called bnb uh promotions that's where me and brian i'm tbc promotions that's a different entity. Mm -hmm. But um, my thing was, I got kicked out of the gym that I once was at uh, CW Youth Resource Center because I wouldn't sign a contract to pay them every month because I was turning pro. And I was like, nobody else <laughs> was, was met with the contract. So I was like, man, I'm not signing nothing. And... Uh, the owner just basically said, if you don't sign this, you got to go. And I was like, all right, I'm leaving. So basically, I just left. And um, 
I just was like, man, I don't want that to ever happen to another fighter mm -hmm. again. You know, uh, you forcing him to do something that, you know, is against what he believe in. And he's been there since he was seven years old. So basically y'all trying to, you know, get over on him. You know, y'all trying to take advantage of him. And uh, we start going to a different gym and me and Bo came up with the idea of, man, let's just get our own gym. We ain't got to go to nobody else's gym. We don't got to follow nobody else's rules. Let's get our own gym. And at the time, I think it was 2012, we found the uh, warehouse that was just full of old storage stuff. We rented one side out, you know, uh, we didn't have nothing in it. Mm. <laughs> we was just renting it out, but still using that gym. And like, every time I fight, we'll put a little bit in it, put a little bit in it. And then we had, you know, a couple of friends that was helping out, you know, uh, my boy Manny, he was paying the rent. He was like, you know what, y'all focus on boxing. I'm gonna pay the rent for eight months that y'all ain't gotta worry about it. And then at that time, you know, we just, kept putting money in it. Then we got the ring. Then we started training there and it wasn't open to the public. And um, once we got it to where the bags and everything was there, then we opened it to the public. And I was like, I don't want them to have to pay nothing. Mm. I want it to be free for everybody to come in, get a workout. They don't got a box. I, they can just come for a health, a health, health is wealth. They can come to learn how to de defend themselves. They can come just to hit the bag to uh, let some steam off. They can come to try to box, which we know everybody ain't going to be successful in boxing. A lot of kids, they come in there, want to box, they get punched, and then they leave. But we want to encourage them, like, you don't got to box, but you can still come and train, you know, mm -hmm. still work out. And um, we eventually bought the other side, made it one big gym, and half the side that we once was on, we made it a wrestling room. So, um, yeah, it's free for all the kids and, and everything. You still got ties to wrestling? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, was, my kids wrestling.